Around 25 lakh aspirants are going to appear for NEET exam this year, but this number should not scare you, my dear kids, because there is so much data behind me that tells that even if you fix your preparation right now, you can increase the chances of getting a government seat exponentially. Let's have a look at the data and fix our preparation right away. Have a look at that. Every year, you see, more than 20 lakh aspirants are applying for NEET, that's for sure. Right, but out of that, how many candidates actually qualify the NEET? Let's have a look at that. You see, nearly half the candidates qualify the NEET. Now, qualifying NEET is not a big feat. But think about it. In 24, around 160 marks were required out of 720. And in 25, it was around 144, 143 marks or something. So you see that roughly you get 150 marks out of 720 and you can qualify the NEET and come in this list. Right. 150 marks out of 720 is not a big number. So this number, this number is for sure is not your competition. 10 lakh candidates are directly out, right? They cannot even score 150 out of 720. And out of these aspirants, all of them are not your, uh, you know, comp competition, right? You see that the real competition is happening between 2 to 3 lakh aspirants who are scoring more than 400 or something, right? So you see that out of 2, 3 lakh aspirants, you need to get a government seat. How many government seats are there? You see, in the, in the country, around 3, 400 government colleges are there and combined, around 55,000 seats are there in total, right? So see that 2, 3 lakh aspirants are serious and 55,000 government seats are there. So roughly between 5 to 6 serious aspirants, one will get the government seat for sure. And if you add up all the government seats like private colleges and all, so there are 1.28 lakh, but leave that number. We want this much, right? We want this one, right? We are aspiring for this one. So between among 5 to 6 people, 5 to 6 disciplined people, if I am one, if I am number one in that little group, I can get the government seat. So think about it. In your class, are you the most disciplined kids? In your friend circle, are you the most disciplined kids? You just have to aspire for that. If somebody, if, if your known person is doing something, you try to just, just do that, 5% uh, more than him, right? So that is going to, uh, you know, serve a real thing, right? You cannot compare with somebody who is li living in a different state, right? But the person who is in your class, try to do better than that, right? Okay. So once you do that, you can get, uh, you can be the one of the most disciplined kids. Now, think about it. What number you should keep in your brain, right? How many marks you should aspire for? That is decided by the previous year data. Have a look at that. There are two ways or two modes of counseling, right? If you uh, want to get a college that is in your own state, you will get the benefit of a state quota. But if you live in one state, let's say in Uttar Pradesh, and you want a college if in Kerala, Right, say, okay. So now you will not get the benefit of a state quota, right? 85% seats are deserve, uh, reserved for the people of uh, that state only, for Keralaites only in that college, right? You want a seat in Kerala's college, right? Okay. So 15% seats of that college are still available for the entire country. That is called All India Quota. But that requires more marks because you do not get the state quota benefit, right? So you see that if you are applying for any college outside your state, right? So for that, you need a higher marks uh, between 640 to 680 range. That is, 650 is a good spot. And for a state quota, you will get benefit, of course, because the state quota benefits are there. So 590 to 620 marks are there. Uh, you know, if you get that much, uh, you get a college in your state, right? So you see that uh, 650 is a very good spot. You can get any premium seat with in the entire country. And between 600 and 650, you can get the uh, state uh, government seat as well, right? So if you have that that particular number in your brain, you can directly aspire for that particular thing. My dear aspirants, right now, how can we fix our preparation so that we can get that much? Let's have understanding of that. There are preparation approaches. There are three preparation approaches. The first one is the to master everything, right? It tells us to master everything and then go for the exam. This is something you should not do. Because many candidates who want to master everything, they give so much time to one chapter so that they have to leave the syllabus. And when you leave the syllabus in the NEET exam, you cannot score good marks, right? Think about it. So the other approach is scoring more 650 plus. So these are these approaches for those kids who are already getting 500, 550 consistently in their mock test, right? Because these are the kids who will define uh, the ranks and everything, right? So now think about it. 650 plus is for those kids, right? So who are already disciplined and all, right? But for what will happen, sir, for those kids who are not preparing well or who are anxious, who have not, you know, revised the whole syllabus. So they might be scoring, let's say, between 200, 300 or 400 like that. They should go for the score maximization, right? Do not keep this number in your brain for this year. Go for the score maximization. Otherwise, you will not be able to manage the anxiety all the time, right? 
So you see that if you are scoring, let's say 200, do not drop the weapons. Many aspirants who are planning to drop, you do they do that. They drop the preparation weapon right now, and they say that even if I, let, I'll start next year, right? There is there's so much burden this year. I'll start next year. But what happens, my dear kids? They do not able to score 200. They start from zero next year, and they have to travel all the way to 650, right? So generally, they are not able to do that. Do that. They take a drop again. So you don't do that mistake. You still have four or five months. So go for a score maximization. Go from 200 to let's say 450, 480, whatever score maximum score you can get. Try and get that, right? Then if you are taking a drop, the remaining journey is much smaller and much easier till 650, right? So you, this is the one thing that I'll tell you. Even if your preparation is not good for now, do not drop your weapons. Do not say that I will prepare next year. Prepare in a way that you are aiming for maximizing your score, right? Let's move ahead and talk about the next thing, which is the time-saving notes strategy. So whenever you want to appear for NEET exam and whenever you want to solve the, you know, PYQ questions, you will see that questions are easy, but, uh, you know, maintaining the speed is not easy. So maintaining, for maintaining your speed, you cannot waste time remembering the formulas and all these things, right? So for that, I'll suggest you, uh, make short notes and revise everything multiple times. And in the short notes, what you should what should you keep? You can only keep three things, right? Keywords, formulas, and conclusions. KFC notes. Keywords, formulas, and conclusions. If you make KFC notes, you will find that you can minimize every chapter in two, three pages. And by doing so, you can achieve anything you want, right? So you can also get the notes uh, by the end of every class that I'm giving you on this channel, right? And uh, not just notes, or you can get the short notes and handwritten notes as well, right? So try and use that as well, right? So this is it for now, right? I'll see you there in the next video with few more insights on the NEET exam. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.